Lucas Cronach the Elder was a painter in Germany during the Renaissance. His interesting title is due to the fact that his younger son, who was named after him, was also a painter, and was referred to as Lucas Cronach the Younger. Lucas Cronach the Elder's work, The Mass of St. Gregory, is a work in response to the disenchantment of Protestants during the Protestant Reformation during the 16th century in Europe. Given his position in the Reformation, uh, he championed the Protestant cause and was a close personal friend of Martin Luther. Cronach the Elder's interpretation of the subject varies from other artists given his support of the Protestant Reformation. His interpretation of the Mass of St. Gregory varies from other depictions in its content, in which he changes the position and orientation of certain characters, such as the Pope-like figure behind the doorway, as well as the short attendant in the foreground, as well as its more colorful and less painterly style. The Mass of St. Gregory itself is a subject that has been drawn by multiple artists, such as Israel van Mechenem and Albrecht Dürer. It is interesting to note that Dürer once painted a portrait of Cronach the Elder. The Mass of St. Gregory depicts St. Gregory praying at Mass for the salvation of someone who did not believe in transubstantiation. For those that do not know or might not be aware, the term transubstantiation is the idea that in the Eucharist, the bread and wine are literally the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. The Eucharist is the sacrament that Jesus' followers remember him giving them bread and wine, saying that it is his own flesh and blood. The painting depicts St. Gregory asking for divine proof of transubstantiation, and in response, Jesus appears before him. The subject has strong Christian overtones and was an iconic image that opposed the ideas of the Protestants during the Protestant Reformation. Lucas Cronach the Elder was a Catholic who supported the Protestant Reformation and subsequently did portraits of members of both groups. Adrian Zenbran, a painter in the Netherlands during the early 16th century, also painted the Mass of St. Gregory. His interpretation is similar to Cronach the Elder's, but is reversed in orientation. His painting does not depict the same clouds behind the Passion that Cronach's does. The cloud with the heads of the popes shows a strong support for the papacy, and Cronach's Catholicism would rationalize his addition of the heads of the popes in the clouds as a form of promoting their authority, them being the popes, their authority as being in line with the idea of transubstantiation. The non-believer in Zenbrand's painting is standing behind St. Gregory and his associates, and the audience can clearly see his face. In Cronach's version, the non-believer stands right next to the platform on which Jesus has appeared, and his or her back is turned to the audience. This difference in orientation could be attributed to the fact that Cronach was a supporter of the Protestant Reformation. The subject of the Mass of St. Gregory has been used to promote Catholicism and its ideas, and if one were to interpret the non-believer to be a Protestant, then by placing him closer to the Passion, Cronach is attempting to not alienate him from the procession. By having his back turned toward the audience, it creates the illusion that he is seeing the appearance of Jesus Christ just as we are, rather than seeing it from a viewpoint of the peasants or the other saints. Cronach could be sympathizing with the Protestant cause, given his support of the Protestant Reformation. In Cronach's interpretation, there is a thin, frail dog lying down behind St. Gregory, while in Yzengrant's portrait, there are no animals. Biblically, dogs have been seen as pests, according to RevelationToday.com. Cronach could be symbolizing how the Catholic Church was becoming pest-ridden with authoritarian figures. Adrian Zenbrand's painting contains a more detailed environment, such as the archway tapestries as well as the floor pattern, but the faces of the characters are hazy in comparison to the rest of the painting. I interpret this difference as Zenbrand to be maybe more aware of the background of the Protestant Reformation, the events and the controversies, but less aware of the actual people themselves. Cronach was working out of Germany as opposed to the Netherlands, and was closer to the heart of the Protestant Reformation. 
He was also a personal friend of Martin Luther, who is often credited with initiating the Protestant Reformation with his 95 Theses. Thus, Cronach's background detail matches the level of detail on the faces of his figures. Cronach the Elder's painting also seems more distinct in terms of color. The Zenbrandt's colors seem to blend into one another, while the boundaries between Cronach's are clearly defined. This supports the idea that Cronach had a clearer view or interpretation of the events of the Protestant Reformation than his peer over in the Netherlands. In general, Cronach the Elder's version of the Mass of St. Gregory uses lighter colors than the Zenbrandt's. Cronach's painting uses rich browns instead of the yellowish gold of Yazenbrand's. Yellow or gold can be used to symbolize idealism, while brown can symbolize endurance and simplicity. Yazenbrand may see the Catholic Church as more idealistic than Cronach. This may be due to Cronach's sympathy with the Protestant Reformation and his desire to depict a more neutral viewpoint of the schism. All in all, after some inspection and historical context, it becomes clear how Cronach's odd position in the Protestant Reformation could have influenced his content and convention in his depiction of the Mass of St. Gregory. I'm Nakul Patel, and thank you for listening.